Okay, this is part three of the setup walkthrough in preparation for the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual installing configuring Windows 10 in, for exam 70-698. So we have not started on Lab 1 yet. We're still preparing to get into Lab 1. Right now, we're currently installing and configuring the server one. So that's what we're going to be doing during this video. Right now, I have the, the domain controller off. So we're just going to right click, new, virtual machine. LON SVR1 <clears throat> Next, next. Two zero four eight. Use dynamic. Next, we're going to connect us to the private network one. Next, 60, next, install image ISO, open, next, finish. And I'll go ahead and start it. And then next, and install. And again, we want to do the GUI. Next. Okay, we're going to accept the terms. Next. Custom install. Next. And I'll pause while it goes through this process. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and use our password. And then finish. <clears throat> For this part, we're going to need to turn on the domain controller.
Again, this is logging into the domain controller. <clears throat> I'm still waiting for the server manager to come up over here. Now that that's up, there's nothing else I need to do with this. I'm going to minimize it so we can just focus on the one machine. Okay, just like before, we can go ahead and click on local server. on time zone change time zone and then okay and then okay <clears throat> now we're going to set the IP address Right click, properties, IPv4, properties, 172.16.0.11, tab, that's fine, and 172.16.0.11. <clears throat> zero and then ten and then okay close close this now we're going to click on the computer name change lon-svr1 We're going to choose domain, adatum.com, and then OK. I know what I did. I'm going to close this. Make sure this is on here. This should be LON SVR1. And then we're just going to do OK. <clears throat> yes. I'm not finding where I'm supposed to write it. So what's the little one's name? Okay, so now that the machine is off, we have to go to settings. Oh, see, it is on network one. And okay. And we'll check this one. Right, let's change this one to private network one and then OK. <clears throat> now let's we'll double click.
Oh, from here, media, DVD, eject. You don't need it once it's installed. So we're just getting rid of our ISO. And I'm just going on to the domain controller. Start, Task Manager, Services, Restart, Start, Just In Case, Minimize Our Domain Controller, Go Back to Here, Log in with our password. We go to network. Turn on network discovery. Yes. See, it sees the domain controller, so everything should work. Again, we're going to click on local server. Okay, we already have this. Now we have to go back to this. And again, we're going to do change. Now we're going to assign the domain. There it goes. Now we're going to type in administrator and then our password. Okay, and we are put on the domain, and then OK, and then close. I'm going to do restart later, only because I want to go ahead and shut this down, because we are done with this. So right click, shut down. And then continue. Okay, so we've done this. And now it wants us to install and configure server 2, which is going to be identical. So I'll leave the domain controller up, close out of this, go back to my Hyper-V. Now I'm not going to record this next one, 
but I will walk you through the first couple steps. So we're going to right click new virtual machine LON SVR2. Next, next. Two of four, eight, and sixty. Dynamic. Next. Private network one. Next. Sixty. Next. Install. ISO. Browse. Open. Next. Finish. <clears throat> so we're going to follow the same exact steps that we did in server one. And I'm going to end this video here. The next video we will... I will do a walkthrough for the fourth machine that's, that's going to be the router, for the RTR. So the next video we're going to pick up at that point. So as always, thanks for watching.